So the friend I made the other day in the phone shop, they just spent the only day off of the week with me to show me around a different site in Lahore. Uh, I think that says a lot about the hospitality here and I could sense a sort of pride uh, for them to show me these uh, very significant places uh, in the country. So we went to Bachai Mosque, uh, then we went to Lahore Fort. Unfortunately, the filming there was difficult, uh, so you will not see that. And then we went to Minare, Pakistan. So it was an amazing day, I learned a lot. And at the end of the video, there is a real bonus. We stopped on the street to get some soda. Well, at least what they call soda. I wouldn't say that is. But it was very interesting. Uh, so keep watching till the end. So what is this place? What is this? <laughs> Tell me what it is. What is this? Shai Gila Gate. That is Shai Gila Gate. Shai Gila Gate. Yeah. Shai Gila Gate. This is the place where previous Bachas, you know, like kings, wants to play with their kids. Okay. Yeah. Just like a study room for the kids. Okay. So I'm standing here in the courtyard of Bachahi Mosque. The place is just impressive. Uh, it is so big. Uh, it is reported that 50,000 people can come here and pray and on other website they say 100,000 people so that gives you a rough idea of the size of this place and this is the mosque um, uh, it was built in 1673 uh, by the Mughal, so those were kind of emperors uh, of their time here in Pakistan and India. Uh, the mosque got converted into a military outpost when the British came and conquered the land. But because the Muslim world was not happy to see one of their sacred sites being used for military purposes, uh, a lot of pressure was put on the British to just return it, return this beautiful mosque to the religion and to the people of Pakistan. So we're here still uh, near Bashai Mosque, which is just over there. And next to it is uh, the tomb of Ilama Iqbal. Uh, can you tell us who was he? And uh, Ilama, Iqbal, Ilama Iqbal was a very famous poet. He was, you can see it, he is an, our national poet. He wrote too many poems, uh, he wrote too many poets uh, for Muslims to walk the Muslims, and he give too many advices and he contribute too many things for the Pakistan. Uh, he advises to the, our leader in uh, He was, he sees a, a dream to make a Pakistan. Okay. He see. So he's the one who pushed back when Pakistan was still a part of India. There were a mixity, there were Hindus, Muslims, and I assume yeah, exactly. it wasn't going very well. Exactly. And he wrote poems and he helped um, work the Muslim population up yeah. to say, we want our own Islamic country. Basically, yeah, exactly. He was the uh, one who stand in front of Hindus who said that we are totally a different nation we cannot survive with together we have to be this 
be deported. You have to be uh, deport your your country different. That's why we are here. And that was back in 1940 something. 19. Uh, this was he was working since 1937, like 35. But uh, he won. He win in 1947. That we get in Pakistan. We got our nation. We got our so own you, nation. Pakistan was created in 1947. 1947 exactly. After splitting away from India. Yeah. Uh, so is poetry now a very important aspect of yeah, the Pakistani exactly. culture? Now we, nowadays, this poetry we can use for our to improve our strength. Okay. Because this poetry is not for the girls. This poetry was not for us. His single poetry was not for the single girls. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So yeah. The, the poetry, I haven't read yeah. any of his poem yet. This whole poetry for the Allah mm -hmm. and his prophet. Okay. So uh, the he, poem were yeah. about being a better person, yeah, exactly. a better Muslim, yeah. and to follow Islam. Yeah. His poetry shows that if you follow your Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then you can be a successful man. We are in Iqbal Park, next to Mashai Mosque and Lahore Fort. We went to the fort. Uh, if you are going and you have a camera, leave it inside your bag. Uh, they will not let you in with a camera. So I didn't get to Next. film. Do get a guide uh, because there's a lot of information. Uh, we got a guide inside, but I could understand maybe 50% of what he was saying. But it was still pretty interesting. It's um, on an architectural point of view, absolutely amazing. Uh, the craftsmanship is exquisite. They work a lot with marbles. Uh, it looks really really good so I wish we could see what it was looking like uh, back in the day but unfortunately now it's only the remains so Tom as you know we are uh, in uh, Iqbal Greater Park so you can see behind Minaria Pakistan which is a symbol of Pakistan you can if you search the symbol of Pakistan you can you get this building this building was made for the remembrance of Pakistan's Independence Day, which was 1947, but this building was in made in uh, 19, 1968. It takes eight years to build. That all country have assembled uh, a building, uh, just like you can take uh, Dubai. Dubai have Burj Khalifa. France have Paris. Pakistan have. Pakistan. Okay, so Minari Pakistan is the Eiffel Tower of Pakistan. Yeah, you can say. Chocolate, black, tropical fruit, M and M's kind of thing. There's a lot of stuff here.
I'm not too sure that a block of ice that has been sitting outside where it's like 35 plus degrees uh, and sitting here in the streets is very sanitary but he's put a lot of stuff and I have no idea what he's going to taste like. So now we have a little... It looks strange. Oh, maybe it's good. Oh. Thank you. Can you feel? Do you want to do the filming? Do you want to do the filming? Do you want to it's very sugary, very crunchy, very fresh. So after today, that's a big plus. You have some fruits and a lot of different flavor. Uh, fruit, chocolate, sprinkles some nuts, ice, and some syrup, so it's doing good. Thank you.